everyone welcome to this updated video i really hope you guys are doing amazing this morning and so we'll be taking a look at what is happening across the caribbean uh the rainfall forecast there's been that trough loitering around which has certainly resulted in a rainfall increase a substantial rainfall increase in some areas but there is no doubt that others have been dry and with that said some areas are likely to experience above average rain in the caribbean as we head into late april and early may so i will be going into that forecast there's a new outlook from the climate prediction center so let's get on with it and taking a look at this satellite imagery we can definitely see that northern south america is quite active and even just within the vicinity of africa we can see lots of convection along the intertropical convergence zone so that is where trade winds of the north and south meet and when they do sometimes we can see lots of thunderstorms uh lots of rainfall within that particular area but then as we're zooming into the caribbean here we can see that much of the activity associated with that trough is kind of offshore now but there was more thunderstorm activity developing last night in parts of the dominican republic uh and overall there has been as i said a substantial rainfall increase but overall nothing much is really happening across the caribbean however uh there's been some early morning showers in parts of jamaica welcomed shower activity and we are likely to experience some more uh, rain as we head through today but uh let's go on to the rainfall forecast for today we can see some of those more colorful shadings still around parts of the caribbean puerto rico hispaniola so parts of haiti and the dominican republic again there's already been some rainfall within these areas so there's likely to be some additional downpours as we head through today uh the virgin islands things are kind of clearing up and we can see those colorful shadings of those burgundies pinks purples out there highest rainfall amounts are going to remain offshore but uh, for the lesser Antilles, a few showers have been around and uh, it's likely to be the same story through today with those intermittent showers. So from Anguilla through Trinidad and Tobago. And of course, we're not leaving out Barbados. So yeah, and then for the ABC Islands, maybe a stray shower or so at the most today. Uh, for parts of Jamaica, Cuba, uh, the southern Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, a few showers may loiter around even near the Cayman Islands as well. And then headed towards uh, Central America, a few showers for especially parts of uh, Honduras and Nicaragua. And even a few lucky spots in southern Belize, Guatemala, some spots in El Salvador, Costa Rica, Panama, but elsewhere should be on the pretty dry side. And then as we're heading to South America, as I mentioned earlier, there is a lot already going on. So very active, there's some additional heavy rain. And with those heavy downpours, there could even be some instances of flooding. So if you're there, if you're experiencing the substantial rainfall, please stay safe and if you should encounter any floodwaters, turn around, don't drown. It will be yet another windy day today, so it is already windy for parts of the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Islands, even Cuba as well. And other windy areas in the Caribbean through today would be uh, with uh, the vicinity of the Bay Islands of Honduras and the Southeastern Caribbean. So ABC Islands, going to Trinidad, Tobago, and even Grenada. Uh, winds are going to be kicking up there but as we head towards the rest of the lesser antilles virgin islands and even near puerto rico it's going to be a little bit on the calmer side winds may also kick up for the cayman islands and jamaica now as i mentioned there is likely to be somewhat of an increase in rainfall activity as we head into the rest of april and early may uh we're heading into the rainy season for parts of the caribbean and so the rainfall activity is likely to kick up for some areas so this is uh this map right here we're focusing on the caribbean and this is for the week of the 24th to the 30th of april the final week of april and here we're seeing this green enclosure now this is representing the chance of above average rain so we see parts of the bahamas turks and caicos islands much of cuba jamaica maybe even the cayman islands right there hispaniola puerto rico the virgin islands and the leeward islands within that shade in leeward islands from anguilla through dominica so 
it is likely that there could be somewhat of an increase in precipitation, especially compared to how quiet it has been for some areas. So there could be some more rain streaming in from the east and uh, eventually helping out with those areas experiencing those ongoing drought conditions. But take a look at those brown chains. Now that is representing drier than normal conditions. So for parts of southern uh, Venezuela going to the Guyanas, it may be a bit drier for you as we head into the final week of April. Head into the first week of May. May 1st to May 7th, we're still seeing that green shade and even a darker uh, shade of green popping up for parts of the Northeast Islands. Uh, the Northern Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and the easternmost section of the Dominican Republic has we're seeing with that darker shade of green showing a higher chance of above average rain. And we see this rain shifting a little bit more to the east or at least not including uh, Jamaica or much of Cuba anymore or uh, even parts of the Bahamas. So exactly that the Northeast Islands will be the ones really experiencing that rainfall increase in the Caribbean. But hopefully this comes to fruition where uh, the areas, as I said, that are experiencing those drought conditions get some sort of relief because it's just been so hot, it's been so dry, and uh, many of us are definitely feeling the chain reaction of that. So, of course, I'll be keeping you guys posted on all that is happening. And as it relates to the hurricane season, it is just a couple weeks away. It is knocking on our door at this point, and it is the calm before the storm. Nothing's really happening right now, but eventually we're going to be seeing activity ramping up as we head into the next several weeks. It's not even a matter of months anymore. Several weeks from now, we're eventually going to be seeing that increase in atmospheric instability, precipitation, and eventually those systems are going to be forming. But for now, it is quiet, nothing crazy happening, but uh, sea surface temperature is still very much above average, and we are transitioning to La Nina, which I have been talking about. La Nina favors more development in the Atlantic basin so that is on the way above average temperatures are there and an active season is expected by all uh, sources so far that have given their predictions and the NOAA National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration will be given their prediction as we head into the latter part of next month in May but again overall the setup is that we're likely to see another active hurricane season this year. The past several years have been very active and have produced some deadly storms. But, you know, let's see what 2024 has in store for us. And so, guys, that is basically what I wanted to share with you in this update video. I really hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.